Okay, okay, hello to all. First of all, my name is Kenneth Byrne. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screens, of course, using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, we have a special announcement. So the new formula that we've been showing off um, that looks absolutely incredible um, will be a screen paint form. The reason why we decided on a screen paint form instead of a physical screen, a physical screen, number one, would cost more for us to bring in, it costs more for us to ship out, and we probably couldn't make it available overseas. Now, um, nanos can be uh, transported overseas if the fact the screen's flexible and it rolls up. But for this technology, we're thinking about going a different direction, and I don't think it would have worked out too well. So it will be a screen paint form. With that being said, let's do a demonstration on painting the screen. So, let's see what we're going to be doing today. Now, we'll do some plexiglass. Look how shiny it is, plexiglass. And we'll do a sheet of cardboard. Now, you'll get a chance to see what the formula looks like. There is a name that will be added. Actually, we're working on the name right now for it. It doesn't have a name yet, but it will have one. And I'm going to show you, <clears throat> sorry about that, in this demonstration, just like all our other screen paints, very easy to paint. Sorry about that. I was... I have my cold still kicking, kicking my butt, but we'll work through it. So anyway, so um, usually when you watch demonstrations, people want to go on and on and on about the paint roller. They want to make it sound so complicated. You're painting with a paint roller. It's not that complicated. Um, they want to go into the details of the surface and prepping the surface and wiping it down and priming it. Nah, this is not going to be one of those videos. This is probably going to be one of the fastest videos you've ever seen, basically, when it comes to painting the screen. So, pretty much, you can choose any surface you want, just like the TI-47, which we painted a blanket. Literally painted a blanket. I'll show that one, too, and later on in another demonstration. Alright, so, first things first, where the freak is my roller? Oh, there it is, right behind me. Alright, so, let me show you the roller I got. This is an everyday cheap nap roller. I got a pack of these for around $2.00 pack of three for two dollars that's it and we're not to worry about doing any up and down robot formations we're not doing anything we just paint it any way we want i'll walk across the screen just really don't care you don't have to worry about that the drying time on the screens are very fast with all our technology the drying time is very fast this technology is very interesting you'll see when i pour it out of the container so you have some people use a paint pan it's up to you oh just keep in mind you can spray this or you can paint this it's up to you roll it it's up to you now let me open up the container, which I should have had from the door done. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to pour it some right here. All right. We'll pour some right there. That's it. Now we're going to go back and we're going to grab our roller. We're going to paint our screen. As I said before, very easy one coat application. That's it. Cause you got you know some people might make it sound so so complicated. Oh, you can't <coughs> sorry about that. You can't paint the screen this way. You can't paint the screen that way. Because you'll leave lines and imperfections in the surface. Those videos are so boring, I swear. Yeah. yeah, so I'm having fun here. Having a lot of fun. I love doing these demonstrations. It's so fun. You know? Alright, we're done there. Alright, let's go on the plexiglass. That's it. One coat application. Bam! Done! Woo! Alright, gotta make it fun, gotta make it fun, gotta make it fun. Alright, so we're done. I'll take my plexiglass screen, which I have right here, and I'll lay it right there like so. Of course I'm gonna get a little smudge there because, you know, I touched plexiglass. Now mine, the screens are wet. 
Gonna hit it from the top a little bit. I did better with that. There we go. So keep in mind the screens are wet. So there will be a little bit of that on it. There will be a little shininess to them. Because that's what happens when paint gets wet. I had somebody one time come in and say, your screen is hot spotting. Did you ever take in consideration that the screen was wet when I painted it? Come on, people. Now, we're done. That's it. That's it. Put our formula over there because we don't have a name for it yet. Let's go try it over to the projector and turn it on. Our projector's already on. All right, so the plastic, as I said before, behind the back of the screen, it's coated with an invisible screen paint. We are still in research and development over that technology, but pretty much it'll allow you to transfer, and I mean literally anything, into a black transparent screen. It is gonna be sick when we get done, but this is actually the first uh, test coating we did on that particular surface. So I'll do some demonstrations on that later. Matter of fact, I'll take that plastic off and turn it into a screen. All right, so let's begin. Ooh, my body is way too hot. There we go. Amber's like, is he in there testing again? Now the drying time for these screens is around 10 to 20 minutes. That's how fast they dry. If you're using a fan, it's 20, 10 to 20 minutes. You can pretty much coat over anything you could possibly think of. If you can find it, you can paint over it. You see the angle gain on it? it looks absolutely incredible. Mine, this is on cardboard and plexiglass. Look at the angle gain on the screen. That's cardboard, plexiglass. Can't tell which is which, can you? I have some people ask me questions like, hey, if I paint this on plexiglass, will it show a difference in the technology? Nope. <coughs> Sorry about that. It'll look the same. That's what technology is designed to do. It's designed to blend it in. Now, keep in mind, I wouldn't do it on cardboard because what happens is when cardboard gets wet, it starts to wrinkle a little bit, and you will see all kinds of lines and imperfections in the surface. I got a stuff called congregated cardboard. I don't know if it's right, but it's kind of a plastic cardboard that you can use. Now, I'm also going to be rebuilding and redesigning my plexiglass, not plexiglass, so my um, 168 inch 235.1 screen. It's going to be redesigned. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be building it with, but it's going to be freaking amazing. It's going to blow your freaking mind. I mean, literally blow your mind. You're going to be sitting there like, what the heck is my name? All right, let's grab something else really quick. Don't want my time to dwindle here too much. Look at that. That's for the visible technology. We are working on it, like I said, but it just, it's just—it's going to take some time. Uh, some things we got to alter. A few things we got to change in the technology. Chromecast cable behind me. I do not want to be smacking that thing.
All right, that's basically about it. Like I said, very, very easy to do. Let me grab one of these right here. We'll grab our cardboard screen. See, I want to drop that. That right there is actual cardboard. Now keep in mind, there's no sanding, no priming, none of that. You just saw me add one coat to this surface. And look what I got. Off one coat. Fantastic contrast levels. Sheet of cardboard. That's impressive. Let's take this away. And let's grab our plexiglass, which I'm going to jack up because it's so wet. Uh, maybe I should have put another piece at the top to balance it a little better. Whoops! Don't want this thing to fall. Let's get this uh, lay a little better. All right. Let me go back a little more in the video. That's the plexiglass. So you guys, the new screen paint is going to be, I mean, actually, yeah, it's going to be a screen paint. You're going to get a little glare. Like I said, the screen is still wet. See, so that's the glare. Plexiglass. Let's grab the cardboard. Right, shit, cardboard, which dries a lot faster. Now, keep in mind, cardboard would dry faster than plexiglass. Much, much faster. Okay, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screen, showing you the new formula, and now will be a officially a screen paint that will allow you to paint just about anything you can possibly think of and look absolutely incredible. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. Um, I will have the specifications on the technology. Just to let you know it will be weatherproof. So you can use it for outside if you decide you want to use it for an outdoor projection screen. <laughs> Sorry, projection screen. Uh, you will be able to do that. With no problem whatsoever. 
let's grab something else really quick. I just want to grab one more other thing. Should I make myself a giant cardboard projection screen? I think I should. I think the black screen over here, I'm going to recode it with this chemical. I had to get a name for it too. Look at the angle gain. Angle gain on cardboard. How beautiful that screen looks. I gotta admit, our technology is a beast. And yes, for those of you that are wondering what is the price gonna be for this technology, well, it'll be way cheaper than a DMP Supernova, which I'm gonna be testing it against pretty soon. Way cheaper than that. deal with that. I don't know who chose the selection for this freaking music, but it is mind-numbing. Don't get me wrong, I love the videos. Just some of the music is a little bit mind-numbing. This shiny screen can produce amazing contrast levels. So when I add that in there really quick, a lot of people didn't realize this screen that this particular formula has amazing contrast levels. Perfect white levels, perfect contrast levels. Looks absolutely incredible. Now, keep in mind for those of you that are asking the question, what can I paint this on? Let me reframe. You can paint it on anything you got to think outside the box the problem is a lot of these big companies abs forms whatever they got you confined to thinking that you can only paint on certain select um surfaces no paint this on glass plexiglass wood whatever you can think of you can paint it on got to think outside the box that's why i did the blanket the blanket shows you that you got to think outside the box Keep in mind, you have a screen paint here that will allow you to be able to use it on a projector of 720p and look fantastic. Looks even more incredible on 1080p. What do you think it would look like on 4K? It is fully weatherproof, which means you can take it outside and have your own outdoor cinema. You can use it in your bar, your place of business, because it takes on tons of ambient light. It doesn't make a difference of the color of your walls. Whether they're white or bright or dark or whatever, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference on the caliber of your projector. These screens, this particular chemical, is designed for lumens or 200 lumens. Pretty much anything on 200 lumens and up is going to run on this screen. It works with ultra sure throw. It works with laser. The technology is so advanced, it's absolutely amazing on what it can do. I'm doing this in a fully lit environment on a sheet of cardboard, which I painted in no time at all. That's it. The screen is already dry. Surface is dry that fast. There's no pros required. Look at this, look at the contrast on that technology. And consider the fact that this screen, once I tested against some of these high superior screens, Consider the fact that if this screen had the had was had a supernova label or elite screen label attached to it, what do you think you might be paying for this technology? Alright, that's basically about it. I gotta go. Just want to put that out there really quick. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens. The new formula will be available probably around I say I give it a timeline of probably next week next week it will be available <coughs> if 
and might be available this Friday. If we can get the labels for the, for the uh, we, we already got the name for what we're gonna call the technology. If we can literally get the labels done and have them here by Friday, this screen will launch by Friday. This, this technology will launch by Friday. It's all waiting on the labels. That's what we're waiting for right now. And keep, speaking of labels, I had to make labels for the other screen paints. I apologize for those of you who got, um, who got uh, screen paint without labels attached to it because we ran literally out of labels. We had to get more processed and more made. But keep in mind that, like I said, if we can get the labels in time, it'll launch Friday. If not, it'll launch next week. Look at the reds on that screen. One of the problems you see reds will fade on a screen so fast, especially with this much light. that was a sheet of cardboard would you but I didn't show it to you all right I'm gonna get out of here real quick got a lot to do hope you enjoyed the video demonstration thank you all for watching the new screen paint will be available and our two quarts in one gallon containers two gallons we're still gonna wait on that yet we don't know if we're gonna be making it two gallons yet but it will be available and our one gallon I'm sorry two quarts and one gallon containers um, it will come with a free blackout cloth surface uh, that will be uh, 10 by 12 we may we may pack them in from the door with the um with the uh, 10 by 20 which i'm thinking about doing i'm thinking about actually scrapping the 10 by 12s for this particular technology and we're just doing a 10 by 20 all together i think that you know what that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do instead of giving you 10 by 12 for a one gallon we'll give you a 10 by 20 that'll be a free blackout cloth surface yeah that's what i'm gonna do all right i hope you enjoyed the video demonstration just made the decision right there from the door Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your valuable time because I do appreciate you coming and watching my videos and subscribing. Um, I'm going to have more demonstrations on this technology, especially on a larger surface, which I'm going to actually recoat the aluminum screen with this formula right here. And also, too, my 168 inch 235.1 will be using also the same formula. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you 